Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. Imagine doing an internship in one of the world's most technologically advanced countries, Japan. Working with top engineers and the company pays you a monthly subsidy. Covers your travel, your food, your mobile, mobile data and your stay, everything. So basically at zero cost to you. Yes, and one more best point is what? You don't need to be good in Japanese language. Even you don't need to know Japanese language to go there and get that internship. If you are good in English, that's enough. You can go and get that internship. Plus, you can also get a full-time job offer if you perform well during your internship. I'll tell you everything about this internship, how, how to apply, what is the requirement, eligibility criteria. In this video, don't worry. Okay. But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you want, want to utilize your summers, the summer break, and you want to learn Java and DSA, you know how important is data structure and algorithm for getting an internship as well as for placements. And Java is also one of the most like uh, widely used language across the indus industries. So if you want to learn DSA and Java, then and you're, if you are searching for a good resource, then you don't have to waste more time in searching this kind of thing because I am here to help you. You can enroll in my course mastering dsa with java and there we will be covering basically everything java from scratch if you don't know anything about java it's okay we'll be covering first java then data structure algorithm from basic to advanced right plus if you get stuck yeah this is very important next point you will get weekly a live doubt resolution session so you can join that session i'll send you the link and then you can ask me whatever doubt you have and I'm here to help you. So it's not like that you will get only the bunch of recorded videos and that's it. No, I'm here to help you at every step. Second, next important point is what you will get access to a dedicated WhatsApp group. So after enrolling in this course, you can, you can enroll, uh, sorry, you can join that WhatsApp group and there also you can ask me whatever doubt you have. Right on that WhatsApp group, and you can also communicate with the other students who are in this uh, like um, course and uh, discuss something. And if you have any doubt, you can ask there also. So I'm just like one message away from you in that case. Plus, you will get my handwritten notes in detailed manner. Like the, these are the most comprehensive notes you will get. So it would be best for revision. You will get the notes for every lecture, for every topic. Right. And we'll be solving not just theory part. I know practical is very important. So many lead code questions, placement questions, you'll get quizzes, assignments, and we'll be working on projects as well. Right? So many, many things you will get here. At the last, you will get a completion certificate as well. And uh, within one week of enrollment, if you don't like the course or if you don't like my teaching style, you will get your 100% different. No question would be asked to you. Don't worry. You can check there on my website. The link you will get in the description box of this video. Plus one coupon code is also going on. Give 15. You apply this code and you will get extra 15% discount. So everything, the detail, the link and coupon code and everything you will get in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. We have covered something here. What topics we have covered. You can go and check out here. CPPT, notes, assignments, quiz for every chapter you will get. And you can download these and like this you can work. Right. So if you are interested, you can go for that. If you want to go for only Java, then you will get only Java course as well. You can go and enroll in that course. Now back to the topic. Let's discuss what is this internship. I'm talking about Hange's Global Internship Program actually. It is a great opportunity for all the students across the globe to work with a, with a top cloud security company in Tokyo, Japan basically. It is, it is one of the best, it is one of the best tech internship program through which, uh, you know, for international students in Japan and through which they hire international students. Hange basically hire international students through this global internship program. Yes, Hange is a foreigner friendly company. So you can get a full time job offer as well. Now, what internships are there and who are eligible? Let me just tell you this thing. So, the link you will get in the description box of this video. Don't worry, you can go and check out. You can go and check out the stories there. You will get uh, stories of many Indian students as well. So, you have a chance to, uh, you know, get selected in this internship. You will get a dedicated mentor. You will work on real time, real world projects as well. So, there are two paths or basically in two, uh, you can say, field or domain, they provide internship. 
वन इज फुल स्टैक सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग और सेकेंड इज फ्रंट एंड सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग दे हैव देयर बैचेज एक्चुअली सो थ्री बैचेज विल बी गोइंग ऑन वन इज इन दिस ईयर इन नवंबर डिसम्बर एंड टू आर इन नेक्स्ट ईयर बट यू हैव टू अप्लाई नाउ बिकॉज दे चूज फर्स्ट कम फर्स्ट सर्व फर्स्ट कम फर्स्ट सर्व बेसिस सो एज सुन एज यू वॉच दिस वीडियो द फर्स्ट टास्क यू हैव टू डू इज आफ्टर दैट जस्ट अप्लाई फॉर दिस हाउ टू अप्लाई आई आई टेल यू सो दिस दिस इज अ यूनिक फोर टू सिक्स वीक्स ऑफ टेक इंटर्नशिप फोर टू सिक्स वीक्स एट देयर हेड क्वार्टर शिबुआ हेड क्वार्टर इन टोक्यो राइट नाउ यू हैव टू गो देयर बट दे विल गिव यू दे पे यू फॉर एवरी थिंग मंथली सब्सिडी दे पे यू सो यू विल गेन हैंड्स ऑन एक्सपीरियंस इन द एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग पाइथन गो टाइप स्क्रिप्ट एंड यू विल लर्न लाइक द कटिंग एज क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म बेसिकली ऑन लाइक ए डब्ल्यू एस सो देर प्राइमरी लैंग्वेज इज इंग्लिश जैपनीज इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस टेक टेक इंटर्नशिप बट इफ यू आर अप्लाइंग फॉर नॉन टेक बिजनेस पोजिशन देन यू हैव टू बी गुड इन जैपनीज यू नीड टू नो जैपनीज सो इफ यू हैव योर फ्रेंड हु इज इंटरेस्टेड इन नॉट from a non tech background and no japanese you can tell them like okay they can also apply here is a button you can visit this uh, link sorry and you can apply now see interns are expected to join the program at shibuya headquarters in tokyo for 4 to 6 weeks you have to go there and you have to like obviously do your internship monday to friday from 10 to 7 pm according to their time gst japanese time while the program is unpaid okay they'll not pay you but don't think that you'll not get anything and you have to uh, you know pay everything no during this internship you they'll not pay you but they will pay you they'll provide you comprehensive monthly subsidies okay and outstanding participants may be offered full time full time employment opportunities so if you are interested to go to japan and work there it is a great opportunity for you guys so there are two pathways full stack engineering pathway front end in which you are interested you can go and apply how to apply let me just tell you so see um, they are celebrating like they have celebrated their 10th 10th anniversary so it's a trusted program it's been 10 year that they are running this global internship program and they are hiring international students and all so in which you are interested you can choose for full stack engineering pathway what are the requirements see what what they do what you will learn there build end to end solutions using python go or typescript and explore full stack development cloud computing distributed systems and how this internship is going to be done like week 1 to 3 full stack training obviously you will learn you will get trained you will work there with their top engineers on projects you will learn and then devops training and then during 5 to 6 week specialist assignment a unique project for each intern but it is specific to their ba their batch okay basically they are running this internship in batches so according to that they'll give you a special assignment for front end engineering pathway for week 1 to 4 application development training you will be will be given to you and then devops training for week 5 so all the applicants are required to choose at least one pathway at least one if you want to choose both you can choose but for each pathway has a different internship schedule so according to that you need to go and if you are interested in applying for both the pathways then you have to use two email ids please submit separate applications separate applications using different email addresses one email address for one pathway one second email address for second pathway don't go for uh, like use same email address and apply for both the pathways you can apply for both the pathways for both the internship but use different email addresses because first you have to go for coding challenge so yeah it is competitive but it's worth okay they will there will be a there will be a coding challenge then there will be some interviews phone screening then interview and then you will get selected so once enroll enroll in the program interns cannot change pathways midway after enrolling you cannot change pathways during your that time so midway you cannot change what are the benefits you will get as a global intern at hange you will be provided i have told you monthly subsidy pre arrival support and visa guidance also plus round trip air fare your tickets and all medical insurance you will get plus japanese mobile with data also will give you and basically they'll pay you for everything so you don't need to uh, spend a single penny i guess right and you will get access to see get to know uh, get to know uh, you lunch ons la meetings with like 
uh, experts and all monthly technical sessions sessions also you will get for engineers to share knowledge and latest trends office facilities refreshments staff parties numerous social opportunities you will get to know their japanese cultural culture uh, through their cultural events so you will get access to many things not just uh, in technical terms but in social terms also so it's like you are you are roaming in japan you are learning their culture as well as well and you are getting paid for that thing also it's kind of that thing so what are the qualifications required to apply for that essential qualifications are bachelor's degree in computer science or a related field like electronics electrical or any it field kind of thing third year students and above are welcome or equivalent experience from a tech internship or boot camp if you don't have this degree you should have a experience in some technical internship equivalent internship uh, internship uh, sorry experience in that internship or boot camp fluency in english japanese is not required if you are applying for non tech then only japanese is required knowledge of linux mac os unix like environment and you should be interested in interested in open source or tech community activities you are open to like uh contribute in open source activities experience in full stack pathway only so python or go for front end pathway only react or vue in typescript okay preferred preferred candidates would be interested in pursuing a career in japan if you are interested maybe during uh, the interview they can ask you so if you are able to convince them that you are looking uh, for your career in japan later on so you will be given like little bit higher preference okay interested in cloud computing platform these are preferred qualifications preferred things they want these are essential knowledge of distributed system experience in full stack web application development if you have obviously that will be good, good to you if you have knowledge of aws terraform then also will be given higher preference and for front end pathway only knowledge of server side programming languages if you have then these are preferred for this front end pathway if you are applying for front end pathway for, for this internship you can check their tech stack from this link you can go and check out okay and uh, this program is a part of pre hiring process pre hiring process those interested in seeking a career in japan may have a significant advantage so basically i told you na they hire international students to this program so this is a pre hiring process this internship kind of thing if you do very well throughout that internship and you are interested to work in japan you can also get a full time job offer from hange that's great so as an intern you will get hands on experience in full stack web application development how to deploy them to aws and working hard is like 10 to 7 i have told you according to their time okay so please make sure that there will be no conflict in your academic schedule during this time how to apply you have to register through the apply button below like the link i'll get you i'll give you in the description box of this video you can go and check out you can apply one step is this and verify your email address second step is you have to solve a coding challenge you will get after registration a challenge you solve that you submit that plus you have to submit with your cv like resume and a cover letter also two things after that if you are good in these things and you'll be selected then a phone screening followed by a online interview and then Uh, this interview kind of thing will be given to those who pass the step two. If you pass your coding challenge, then only only you will get interview, right? But a limited number of internship slots are available in each batch. There are basically three batches. Uh, I'll I'll show you these batches. See, these are three batches. First is this from seventeen November to December nineteen in twenty twenty five. Okay, for twenty four days for front end engineering pathway. these two batches 1 and 2 are in next year january 16 january to february 13 uh, full stack and this is also 16 march to 17 april 2026 for full stack engineering pathway but apply as soon as possible don't wait for like okay these are next year so we'll apply no because they choose in on first come first serve basis so better to apply first because see limited slots are available and applications will be reviewed as they are received and position will be filled on a first come first serve basis right like they'll not wait that let's wait for 15 10 students apply for 50 students to apply and then uh, we will select out of those 50 students no 
if two three students has applied and as soon as you apply they'll review your thing and all and they like if they like your performance then you will be get things you will uh, get selected and once the slots are full they are going to close this thing so after that you may not be able to apply for this internship program right because uh, they encourage you to apply early as applications will close once all positions are filled so don't wait apply as soon as possible the coding challenge has no time limit that's very good point and the screening process will not consider the solving time if someone has taken only 30 minutes or someone has taken 1 hour or 1 and a half hour so it doesn't matter okay please note that the application is completed after uploading application documents and filling in the batch preferences so obviously you have to give your preference for the batches for which you are going to apply so after completing your coding challenge, you will be asked for your uh, preferred batch. You have to select, right? And please make sure if you are applying for both the internship for uh, this uh, full stack and front end, use different email addresses to go for the coding challenge, right? And if you are in same pathway, like full stack, full stack, so you can apply for both the batches. It's not like that you have to apply only for one. You can apply for only for one, no. You can apply for both the batches. But the batches should be of same pathway. These are of same, full stack, full stack. So you can apply for those, right? See, they have written over there. Internship slots may close up to four months, four months before the batch start date. So four months before 16 January, they can close this. Or, um, or when all slots are filled, whichever comes first. So at below you will get these two buttons for whatever you want to apply you can apply suppose you apply for that first you have to register and then only you can apply so first you have to register and then only you can apply right it's very simple so i think it's a great opportunity who are really interested to work in japan and explore their culture also the link of everything you will get in the description box of this video you can go and check out so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care